Hi hi. I have tea. Let's see, the quote of the day today is, Earth provides enough to satisfy every man's needs, but not every man's greed. Gandhi. That man's. Smart lad. Okay, so, I feel like there's been more gaps um, between my postings to YouTube, and I want to tell you guys what that is all about, because I feel like you guys deserve that. And the reasoning is not all sunshine and rainbows, so I am very sorry. It's been a while since I've posted a, a video where I just sat down and I talked to you guys. That is because I'd rather make those types of videos in my car. I seem to speak better when I am in my car. I don't understand it, but I like making my talking videos in my vehicle. For a while now, somebody else has been taking care of my vehicle for me, so that is why I haven't made one of these videos in a while. I will do my best. But also, it is because a lot of things have been changing on YouTube, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I haven't really been feeling YouTube lately with the new rules and regulations and just all their changes, the things that they've been showing a lot more on YouTube, which is more on the negative side of things, not uplifting, it's just drama or like news about wars and all this stuff that's been going on. And yes, I do think that everyone should be informed, but I just think it's too much negativity. So I try to stay away from all of that. I am making this video because there have been a lot of changes, not only with the world, but with me. A lot of things happened during the year of 2020 that affected my life. In 2020, as you know, the pandemic happened. It started and the world was in a frenzy. Every single year, I like to make a list of things that I like to achieve for the year. My yearly goals. One of my life-changing goals in 2020 was to move out and have my own life, finally. I'm not getting any younger, so let's live while we can. Because of the pandemic, that put me at a standstill. I was stuck. I could not go anywhere. Nobody could go anywhere. Nobody could go outside. And that was it. It caused me to stay in my current place right now with my family which I am an adult and past a certain point it's like you know you don't want to live with family anymore you want to maybe make your own family just have your own life live your own life do what you got to do have your own privacy and work on yourself so because I have been living at home for so long uh, it has been making me very sad I had a look at my list and I decided you know what instead of doing that one since I can't might as well work on the next one, which was getting my teeth straightened, which I have no regrets about. I love them so much. They are perfect. There was that, and then 2020 also. Um, I was very close with this one dog at the time. Here, this dog was here. And the dog got put down for a reason that I think was very, very unfair, very stupid, but I wasn't the dog's owner, so I didn't really have a say in, you know, what could happen there. So the dog got put down, and I was very angry for quite some time. Very, very angry, very sad. So that also happened. I can't think of the third thing right now. I think it had something to do with, like, jobs, because I know right now I'm struggling with jobs or trying to find a job, and not only me, but everybody else is struggling to find a job. I don't know what the hell is going on. I think we are at a war with ourselves right now. Inflation is freaking bizarre. There is literally nothing stocked on shelves anymore. People are struggling to get a job because every time you put in applications, you have to talk to a bot or AI, and those AIs and bots do not even bring the... They don't give the applications to the managers to look over. It doesn't go through. So people are struggling to find a job. They're struggling to get a job. And I have been affected by this. I have been trying to get a job for a while now, and nothing is working. Nothing. Gas prices are freaking up to the heavens. Like, not to mention, you know, one of our possible to be presidents, I mean, are getting out there. They're, they're like a target. They're getting shot and everything. I just think that everyone is becoming very, very careless. They're giving up. And you know what? I feel like I am one of those people. And I don't want to be one of those people. I want to keep going. I want to think positive. But Everything seems like it's spiraling, and that is really affecting me. The big one that happened in 2020 is the one that affected me the hardest and for the longest, and it changed me so much. It changed me 
a lot. I got into a relationship in 2020. It was my first online relationship and it was the first relationship ever that everything felt so right. It felt perfect. It felt so right to me and so real. But um, I've never been in an online relationship before and it was amazing and I loved that one so much and you know I put my whole heart into that one. After we split that's when I found out what exactly the person was and I didn't know what this was at the time I didn't even know this was a thing um, that is when I found out that the person I dated was a full-blown narcissist they affected my life so bad put me in a depression in a very deep depression which I didn't even know somebody like me was capable of ever getting depression I thought for people that had depression you had to be born with it or it it happens when you're like a kid and then you're just stuck with it. I didn't know that you can just get depression. Like I didn't know that you could get it like that. I have been struggling ever since to get out of this depression. It's really, really affecting my life big time. It's hard to smile. Um, I force myself every single day to smile, but it feels like the weight, you know, on the sides of my mouth are just more heavier than they've ever been in my entire life. They just want to sit down. They never want to get up. So that sucks. Time is going by so fast and it's very scary. And I think that, you know, it would be nice to smile more and to enjoy life while you can. Um, but yeah, I, I have been dealing with this depression and it's been really making me not want to do a lot of things. Um, it got so bad that I ended up uh, not getting out of bed for two months. It was just really bad. I lost a lot of weight and yeah. I am getting better now. I'm trying every single day. I have not, you know, seen a therapist. Um, the way I think is probably not the healthy way to think of therapists, but I think that therapists are a waste of my time and that you pay them for something that you can easily just talk to anybody about. It doesn't have to be a therapist. This is how I, I'm thinking, though. I know this probably is not true at all. I'm sure therapists help so much, but I think it's a waste of my time. I can't exactly take them seriously. I see them as a joke. Like, if I was to be in a therapist's office, I see myself just sitting there and giggling and laughing and not, not you know, I, I don't know. I wish I wasn't like that, but I just think that I could get the help that I need at home or literally anybody else. Because all you're doing is you're talking to a person, you know, and all they want to do is say, oh, you got this and then push meds on you for a profit. They got to make the profit somehow. So I am not exactly for that. The breakup was 50-50. It was just a misunderstanding and miscommunication on my part. There are things I guess I was supposed to say that I didn't know that I should have said. Um, in the very beginning, I didn't know that. So I just was, you know, you know, I don't know. I was figuring things out and life is a journey. You know, I'm finding out more things about myself now than I ever did. I am on my own journey to find myself again because you know, I know I'm still in there, I know, but I'm really, like I said, struggling to want to do certain things anymore. It really sucks because now I'm afraid to love. I have like this guard up that's not allowing me to fall in love again. It's really, it feels so different. I really want to be able to love again. I just had to put that guard up or guard down, not up. It's already up. <laughs> the fourth thing that was really bad for me was a very very hard and strong video game addiction I've loved video games all my life but I've never been quite addicted like this I passed the time by playing video games and I got so into this one video game that um, I ended up going on the moment I woke up and staying on until I went to bed that night I was on all day barely made time to eat barely made time to use the bathroom I just wouldn't do all that so I was really really in it that is also where I found my partner at the time the relationship I was just mentioning kind of feel like I was on there for as long as I was because it was trauma it was like a trauma bonded feeling to the game because I had trauma there it was hard for me to let go and nowadays when I try to go on I can't I can't really game anymore like I'm just not feeling video games anymore which is a good thing. I know I'll return to video games eventually, but right now I'm just not in that gamer zone anymore. If you guys deal with depression, just know that, man, do I get it. When I would meet people with depression in the past, they would tell me how sad they were and, you know, how they, they didn't want to do this and I'm all, I was always happy-go-lucky, like, let's go, let's go out and do something, you'll feel better. It doesn't really work like that. Depression isn't something that 
can go away in just a day or just like the moment. How I felt was I felt like I was in a six foot dark hole in the ground just looking up begging for somebody to to help me you know but nobody could hear my voice i was just in nothing but darkness and i was trying to reach up and nobody even knew i was there nobody could see me nobody could hear me that is what it felt like to me something i had to do was i had to think about all the bad people in my life and i had to cut ties which i did i have really truly one friend i have one friend and that is it but we are so different in every single way. My interests are not the same as this person's interests. So I can't go out, you know, um, with them and enjoy my day and have fun because we're just so different. So I have been left alone for quite some time, which hasn't been good for my depression. I think, you know, when you're depressed, you shouldn't be alone. I think that is one of the worst things that you could do to yourself is isolate yourself and be alone because it only gets worse. COVID did something to everyone. And it hasn't been the same since. Um, nothing's been the same since. And I've been waiting for the world to get back to normal, but I don't really think normal should even be a word that exists. I don't think. Because, because nothing is normal. Absolutely nothing is normal. Normal is a word that is just a complete lie. <laughs> I also want to apologize really quick if my makeup looks very cakey or if anything looks off because... If it does, it probably is. I haven't gone out in a while, so I kind of forgot how to do makeup <laughs> and how to just like look decent, I guess. I'll get back into what I'm hoping, you know? I just gotta figure this crap out. I gotta, I gotta figure everything out. I gotta sort out my feelings. I have days where I just wanna cry. Days where I just stay in bed and not do a damn thing. I don't have energy, I don't have motivation, and I completely give up on life in one day. I just want to tell you that, you know, you're not alone if you feel this way. Definitely not alone. And I am working really hard to get through this. First step in getting better is getting your ass out of bed. <laughs> and that is probably one of the hardest parts of it. It's just getting up, having a reason to get up. I feel like I can get better. I feel like I just got to keep working on it. If you have it, you should work on it with me. I do plan on making more YouTube videos. I am still here. I am still alive. I do still go to cons, but unfortunately cons ever since the pandemic. Wow, go figure. Um, the cons have been changing a lot. It's a completely different crowd. You know, all the people that I used to uh, have fun with and dance with and, uh, you know, make videos with, they stopped going. So they don't go anymore. I don't know, the panels are just not interesting at all. Um, meetups, you know, there's meetups scheduled and people will show up, but there's never ever, ever anybody there running them. So, you know, at the meetups, there's usually somebody who runs it and takes pictures and does a little countdown for us. And, uh, you know, if you don't have a person in charge of the meetups, then you just have a crowd standing there not knowing what to do. <laughs> yeah, so it's like people are not showing up for things anymore. Um, people are not cosplaying as much as they used to anymore. There's just people walking around, uh, looking lost more than ever, um, not knowing what to do, you know, no, no good events really taking place. But yeah, cons have been kind of, eh. And I have been wanting to film at the conventions that I've been to lately, but I just noticed that there wasn't really much to film. YouTube is changing, everyone's changing, everything is changing, but I just wish it was changing for the better. I'm gonna be working on myself. I hope that the world works on itself. I hope that you all work on yourself to become better if you're struggling with anything. And I really hope things go back to the way they were. The sickness that's taking over the world, I just feel like it's gotta end somewhere, sometime. Once again, I wanna remind you all that I am still here. I am still alive. I do still plan on posting to YouTube even though I'm not really liking the changes on it. Um, I love YouTube so much and there is no way i'm just gonna abandon you guys without saying anything or at least giving you guys a heads up i'm still here and um i love you all and for those who are still here and still watching me you know after so long so many years still sticking around despite the gaps and postings um you guys are real troopers you guys are seriously i i see you i can make your day it makes my day so that's all there really is to it i hope I can post some more videos again. I, I miss posting once a week. I loved that. Thank you for being here. You're a real trooper. And I love you.
Take care, guys.